Hello Dragons, my name is Camise Davis and I'm here today seeking a £50,000 investment for a 20% share in my multi-award winning brand, Nyla's Naturals. My products were inspired by my daughter, Nyla. I wanted my daughter to know from her earliest memory that her hair was magnificent, so it didn't need to be straightened in order to fit into a linear beauty ideal. However, my daughter had eczema, so caring for her hair presented me with several challenges. What I was seeking was a high performance product driven by innovation and backed by evidence. And when I couldn't find it, I thought, hmm, there's a market here. I'm proud to say that since launching, I have sold over 3,000 units and I have won several industry awards. I turned down a listing with Holland and Barrett. However, I am in high level talks with Superdrug. I have done all of this without working capital, whilst working part time and having to raise two small children. Uh, well done. Thank you. I mean, to start this with no capital and to have two children and to have a part time <laughs> job. Um, Let's just talk about numbers for a second. OK. You launched this when? Um, March 2018. So give us some numbers of what you've done since March 2018. So the first year, I turned over £12,000 yep. with a gross profit of £8,000 yep. and pretty much broke even yep. in terms of our net Good. profit. The second year, £14,000 with a gross profit of £9,000 and a net profit of £9,000 because we had no cost. But I reinvested that back right. into product development. Right. So really speaking, this is a nice little business for camp. It is a business with a huge amount of potential, but I haven't been able to really maximise the opportunity because of constraints with finances. Who are you aiming at? Because when you started, I thought it was going to be children. No. But that's quite a grown-up... It is. ...branding. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure. Is it children or is it...? It's for women and children and men with textured hair. It's suitable for the entire family. OK. But nowhere on this does it talk about textured hair. Um, yes. Yeah, so if, in terms of the branding, we done another packaging concept which says for afro and curly hair. Well, I completely agree. It's drilling down into the yeah. reason for somebody to take that off the shelf. And it's something we took on board and we did make those changes. And who's your nearest competitor? Um, there are people who are doing something similar. Um, so there's a one company in the UK who recently got investment, so they are really, really growing um, in terms of their sales. I think the market is big enough for the two of us to be quite lucrative in the market. And I know that with that investment and working capital, I can equally dominate the market. Cam. Yeah. Um Congratulations, very inspiring story, starting from pretty much nothing. You said you've got a couple of awards. Yes. So, based on that, have you tried going to publications and magazines where it could be featured? Because that doesn't cost money to go to them. We have got into um, the UK's biggest black um, hair magazine. Um, we've been featured in the Stylist magazine. So we've had some interest. So, if you've had that type of publicity, why have the sales only grown from £12,000 to £14,000? Yeah. That's my concern. Well, all of our sales have been organic. So our growth to date is, you know, pretty much me, myself, champion in the brand. The first time I approached a buyer called um, Hollander Barrett's, they wanted the products, they saw the potential in it. One thing you said during your pitch, which really hit me, you said that you turned down Holland and Barrett. I did. Why? I did. Um, Peter, it was a very difficult decision, um, but I felt that they didn't understand the market. But also, they wanted to really reduce my RRP, which I felt was risk heavy for myself. And it was such an early stage in my business that I wasn't willing to take that risk. And several months later, I entered into the Superdrug um, open house competition and they offered me to list with them. So taking that into account, what's your forecast? What are you going to do this year? So my forecast that? is in year one post-investment, we should turn over 99,000 and we should break even. 
Year two, we aim to turn over 800,000. How do you go from 99 to 800? So each year we anticipate growth. So year one, we're going to drive 8,000 people to our site per month. Year two, the um, assumption is to drive 15,000 people to the site per month. Also, we're expanding our range and we believe that will help us to drive revenue as well. Cam, you come across very credible. Yep. You've got a lot of knowledge, but at the end of the day, it's the numbers that talk. In a way, you're one year too early coming into the den. I'm not. You, you, may not, you think so, but as a dragon, I look at this and I say, if you come in when you were doing 90,000 and say, guys, I need 100,000 because I want to go to 800,000, that would have made sense. But unfortunately, what I've seen today, as far as the business opportunity is concerned, I don't see it for me, so I'm out. Cam, I think you are extremely credible, passionate, determined, and I can see that you really want to make this work. But you've given some examples about your sales and turnover last year and, and this year. It's a very small amount, and those sales numbers don't give me confidence in thinking that there is a market. So I'm gonna say good luck, but I'm out. Thank you very much. Cam, this is really gonna be a tough business to scale without probably a dragon but I don't think that you're right for an investor right now. I genuinely don't. Giving you money is not going to turn the dial on this, and I'd keep the business for yourself and your daughter. So for that reason, sorry, Cam, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I am not convinced that you're there yet in terms of this, in terms of the brand. Why are you looking down at your feet? <laughs> And for this to really take the market, if you'd said to me there was nobody else doing it, I've got something, either I've got an amazing brand that's absolutely right, or I've got this that I'm doing that nobody else is doing, or but you've actually got a competitor out there who's really, really going for it, that doesn't help me. It doesn't demonstrate to me that either there's a gap in the market, you know, that we could absolutely Best go space. for, or that you're in any way better than them. So. I won't be making you an offer, but I really do wish you all the best because I think you've done a great job and you present really well. But I'm out. Thank you. Um, you don't have a business worth a quarter of a million, but I think with me on board, you could have a business worth that. I will work so hard and I can say, If I get the opportunity, I will work so hard and I would prove that it is a good investment. I will prove it because it is, it really is. I just need the opportunity. I think you've got uh, some real drive and determination and it, it, it's not an area of the market I'm familiar with. These curls took two hours to put in this morning. <laughs> I've got the opposite problem to you. Um, but uh, I believe in you. In my eyes, you've done the really difficult bit. And so I'm willing to make you an offer because I would really like to back another mumpreneur really going places. So, um, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, I will give you all of the money for 40% of the business and I will reduce to 30% of the business if I get my money back within 18 months. And that feels like a way I could make that work. Thank you. Potentially for you and for me. Sarah, thank you very much for your offer. It's a brilliant offer and I would love to accept it. Great. <laughs> yes. Yes. Fabulous. So I look forward to working yeah. together. We can do some great stuff. As well. Thank great. you so much. Honestly, I'm I want make you, you proud. to understand that what I've invested in today is you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. You so deserve Thank it. Thank you. Have a glass of bubbly tonight. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much.